Good evening, Smallville. This is Channel 42 with your 10 o'clock news, and I'm Kayla Kangaroo, and joining us outside Town Hall is Rachel Racecar. Rachel. Good evening, Kayla. Yes, I am outside the Town Hall where we should be seeing council members and residents coming out shortly. Tonight's topic is a heated one as council members and citizens of Smallville express their concerns about patrol car safety. Not only patrol car safety, but the safety of our officers. Only three of 11 patrol cars are currently functioning, and with us today is Smallville City resident, Bob the Builder. <laughs> Hi, Bob the. Hi. What are your current thoughts on Smallville only having three police squads in, in action? Do you want to know what my current thoughts are, Rachel? I, I do. I really do. You really do. Okay, so I just went into this committee meeting, and I just listened to them talk about all this stuff. And, you know, you would think that you would be trusting the right people to put your money where the, like, things are needed to be. And the fact that we only have these amount of cop, cop cars functional just goes to show you that our government should not be trusted. And thank you, Bob, the... And Kayla, it seems to be an issue overlooked until now. The council members are beginning to realize that almost all of the cars available to them have over 100,000 miles and lack working car doors and accelerators. The current models available are from the late 1990s and the mid-2000s. While the council and small res residents agree that this is a pressing issue to address, what they can't agree on is how to raise the money to buy newer and safer vehicles for the police. And Rachel, are there any preliminary ideas about how they're going to do this? Kayla, as of right now, council members have suggested selling the city's vacant land. City-owned properties include a firehouse, a small vacant lot, former safety lane building, and the police academy on Park Avenue. We spoke with another resident earlier about their thoughts about this option. Uh, you know, I, I just moved here, and, you know, I think, I think that's a, a great idea, because how the heck are our police people, you know, supposed to get around and protect us? if they don't have cars to do it, huh? You know, we, we, we need to do what we need to do, and if we need to sell property to get those cars, that's what we got to do. That's what I think. The City Council will be making their decisions in the upcoming weeks, and we'll be sure to keep you posted on all of the progress. That's it for now. Kayla, back to you. Thank you, Rachel. This has been another edition of the 10 o'clock news for Channel 42, and up shortly will be the Pentatonics to sing you this week's forecast.